Park Cadets and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be drawing and painting a picture of Nemo from Finding Nemo and then we're going to create a lovely bubble background for him to swim in. Let's go. So now we're going to create the background for Nemo to swim in and I thought we'd do some bubble painting for that. So what you'll need is some poster paint I've chosen three different colours, um, turquoise, a sort of a greeny blue and a dark blue. You need a little tray like this, any plastic container will do, paintbrush, a straw, um, some kitchen roll, a little bit of water, I've just got in a jug here, and some washing up liquid. Okay, so what we do first is you might also need, before I forget, is to put some newspaper down because it can be a little bit messy. So we put in a good amount of paint and, oops, I'm going to make more mess than you probably, and a similar amount of washing up liquid. So we don't need quite as much but a healthy amount, because that's what's going to make it all bubble up. Now I'm going to mix that in. I've only using a, a cheap paintbrush. Mix it all in like this. So it's a fairly thick mixture. I should have worn an apron. A little tiny bit of water, not too much. Now then, for the blowing bit, obviously you've got to be careful not to suck through the straw because this is washing up liquid and not only does it not taste very nice, it's probably not very good for you either. So make sure that you do not suck through the straw, you blow. Okay, so what I normally do is just tip it slightly so you've got the pool of paint mixture in there like that and blow until um, it's all bubbly and the paint actually, you can see it in the bubbles. Now to start with, you can see the bubbles there, they're not actually very filled with paint so I'm just going to let that pop a little bit and go again in a minute. So as I said I've already got two other colours made up and these are my colours here. I've got quite a bit more water in there. I might add a little bit more washing up liquid actually. Kind of trial and error. I haven't done this since I was quite young, so it's good fun, but you need a little bit of practice to get the right mixture. See, now you can actually see that the bubbles that are formed are the colour of the paint rather than just clear. So when you get to that stage, it's time to get your piece of paper. Now I am using a piece of watercolour paper. which is slightly thicker than normal paper. Again, because we're using paint, it needs to resist being damp. See, it starts to build up a really pretty effect. So while we're waiting for that to dry, we're going to draw Nemo by drawing some simple shapes. The first, in the middle for his main part of his body, is a rectangle. Then to the left of him, a square, so it's the same height but half the length of the rectangle. And then, as you can see, just finishing off with some triangles to finish off the top of his body and his face. 
I've then gone round the rectangles and smoothed out the lines so that they're more of a curved shape, which is more like Emo is. And if you're drawing along with me, you can use the grid that I've drawn with those triangles and squares to fill in the areas where the stripes are on Nemo's body. Once I've done the main shape, to so then go into the details for the eyes, so just adding the pupils and rounding them as well. Because they're not flat on the side of his head, they're bulging out a little bit, so to try and make that look realistic, we've drawn them a little bit more oval than just a regular round eye. So once I've finished the details, I just go in and rub out the guidelines. And then we're ready to colour Nemo in. I've carried on and I've used the same poster paints that I used for the bubble background in the first part of the video. Um, I've used a round brush which is fairly fine so you've got a lot of control and I haven't added too much water to this one so I want the colours to be nice and bright. So I've just gone in with um, an orange colour for the main part of his body just be careful around the eyes and more detailed areas. To try and give the fin effect, I've just done long strokes with a paintbrush and I think I've used a flatter edge paintbrush for this rather than the round one. It doesn't matter if you haven't got different paintbrushes, you can get equally good effects with just the main paintbrush that we use at the start. So once I've done the orange colour, I've gone in and mixed a little bit of red with that orange just to give a dark orange, which I'm then putting at the top and bottom of Nemo to make him look more rounded and less flat. And just give it a bit more of a 3D effect, some shading. important to let this dry before the next stage. I've gone in with um, a dark red colour for his eyes and inside his mouth. And if your painting isn't dry, those colours might spread. And the next step, I've just gone in with a fine black liner because even with a thin paintbrush you struggle to get really detailed fine lines for the stripes on his body and the details on his fins. But even so, yeah, make sure the paint is dry and then this step, step will be a lot easier. Now at this point you could stop and cut out Nemo as he is. Um, I went in and decided to do a little bit more layering once the painting was completely dry just with my colour pencils and that just gave it a little bit more detail and a little bit more shape. I've used a blue colour to go in over the white areas of his stripes and that just gives him a bit more of a 3D effect again and will look really good when we put him in the background. Also gone in with a little bit of dark red just to highlight those darker areas and finished off with my um, white gel pen. So the last bit of all is the cutting out. Just be careful with those scissors. 
and then we are nearly there I just used some glue and stuck into the background and gave him a little bit of shading underneath where he's swimming well that's all for today art cadets I hope you've had fun drawing Nemo if you have then please like share comment and subscribe next week we're going to be having more painting fun so I'll see you then bye